You have probably at some point seen the animated movie Madagascar. But did you know that it's a real place that has very interesting, free, diverse, and multilingual culture? By the end of this speech, you will have learned more about this culture and the everyday cues of Madagascar and appreciate the beauty of this wonderful country. Through the research of these three sources, Nation Shapes the Story Behind the World's Borders, Encyclopedia of Global Religion, and Culture Grams, I've come to understand and appreciate the culture of Madagascar. First, I will tell you about the location and general information of Madagascar. Second, I will tell you about the cultural aspects of Madagascar. And last, I will tell you about the unique communicative behaviors. There are so many things about this country that make it special and beautiful, not only because of the exotic plants and animals that you may have seen from the movie, but with culture as well. Now that you're thinking about Madagascar, you're probably wondering where it's located. The island of Madagascar is located off the southeastern coast of Africa inside the Indian Ocean, the capital of Madagascar being Antananarivo. The island of Madagascar is quite large. In fact, according to Fred Shelley of Nation Shapes, the story behind the world's borders, the total area of the island is around 226,597 square miles, which is slightly smaller than Texas. There are many different mixtures of ethnic groups and cultures here. The main languages that the people of Madagascar speak are French and Malangazi. As talked about in Nation Shapes, the story behind the world's borders, Madagascar was originally settled upon what is believed to be current-day Indonesia, then Southwest Asia and Northwest Africa, finally moving the European explorers from Britain and France. We have heard about the geographical location, but now we're moving on to cultural aspects of Madagascar. What kind of culture does the country of Madagascar have? Well, because their leader is in support of religious freedom, there's a variety of religions to be celebrated here. According to the Encyclopedia of Global Religion, about 55% is traditionalist, 40% are Christians, Protestant, and Catholic, and the rest are Muslim. It is also believed that the people of Madagascar believe in a chief god, but they have many subordinate gods that are closely related to their ancestral beliefs, which they hold rituals to show respect for. The people of Madagascar also have a strong belief in fate. As told in an Encyclopedia of Global Religion, it also states that those who follow the traditional religion believe that you have different souls depending on which stage of life or death. Since their ancestral spirits are held closely to them, it's also expected and explained to be more collectivistic than individualistic. In this culture, family is held more highly than individualistic ideas. Because of this, children have gotten married at younger ages in the past times to become more involved in family more rapidly. This tradition is starting to become more lax in recent days, this being that the practice is going out of style, but the age of marriage is still around the teenage years. Culture is very important to hold with you as you progress. Taking communication, whether it's verbal or nonverbal, with you is extremely important as well. We have covered location, we covered everyday culture, but what about our communicative aspects? In the country of Madagascar, they are very likely to use nonverbal signals occasionally, along with words to extend an expression and emotion. According to the article Culture Grams Online, the people of Madagascar have social cues that they use, such as handshakes, head nods, bowing, and respectful cues such as hats off for greetings or a raise of the hand. These motions help express the thoughts without needing to fully express through words. Through communicative aspects, Madagascar is a very light and respectful culture to be a part of. First, I have told you about the location and general information. Second, I told you about the culture of Madagascar. And last, I told you about the verbal and nonverbal cues and the communicative aspects of Madagascar. So next time you think about Madagascar, whether it be just from the movie or just because, think about all the things that make this culture special and unique.